and already divine and sacred presence has anchored in this union of hearts and minds. Let us simply breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath. And intend to experience, to feel, sense, and know this high, loving, radiant presence that is now anchoring in this connection of hearts and higher service. And as each of us breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath, as we are reminded once again in the re-remembering that we breathe the breath of Brahma, we breathe the breath of God. And in this great re-remembering it ignites our individual and collective divine sparks of this divine radiance, of this limitless light, the Ain Sof. And this divine sacred light that is anchoring in this collective now has a very specific symbol to it. See clearly in your spiritual eye that of an opened lotus flower. And in the center of this opened lotus flower that is pink in hue, It is actually a pink iridescent. And in the middle of it, in its very core, is a divine sacred flame. Clearly see this in your spiritual eye, for this is the symbol that is given. It is to say as if in your opening, in your spiritual opening and unfoldment in the core is the sacred divine flame of the eternal father and the eternal mother. A living flame of which you are a part of. And it's here to ignite that part of you, even as you walk, a physical, mental, emotional, and material world. As this flame of unfoldment within you and around you radiates its divine sacred codes symbols, colors, geometries, and various resonances. It is observed, it is seen, and it is embraced in the higher realms. Your identity in the physical, mental, and emotional earth, the level of unfoldment, that reveals this eternal flame. And so, dear beloveds, we are here on this journey in this path of the unfoldment of the eternal flame of yod heh vod el Elyon, divine Shekinah, the highest spiritual realms of light, being able to come closer 
and touch the children of light upon the earth, piercing through distortions, miscreations, and misalignments, piercing through the crustic thought forms, those co-creations not in harmony and alignment with the eternal creation. And in the cycle of time, upon the cycle of time, we have come to this point in this eternal now, that this great and sacred activation that has been dormant for so long now comes into its unfoldment and into its radiance of all possibilities. So we breathe this sacred in-breath and out-breath because it is full with this eternal flame. And as we hold the symbol of the opened lotus and in the very middle, this eternal flame, all that it symbolizes and all the codes that it gives and all the harmonics, colors, geometries, as we hold this vision and anchor it deeply within our spiritual eye. If we can see clearly the open lotus of this eternal flame in the middle of our heads, right where the pituitary, right where the hypothalamus, right where the pineal create the sacred trinity, it is centered in the middle of that. And it extends above the physical head. But it is seated in this sacred trinity that is within our own biological and endocrine system. And we see that this symbol that is seated in the center of our brains, we see now it spins off as little holographic pictures throughout our entire physical, mental, and emotional bodies. That even the very cells of our physical body is unfolding to its highest potential. Every organ, every body system, just as how it is the brain and the different facets of the brain that controls the human system, the human body, even the emotional one and the mental, that this symbol now comes in as a great upgrade. So we clearly see the symbol moving throughout our entire physical body, our mental body, and our emotional body even as it continues to anchor in the mist of our pineal hypothalamus and pituitary glands. We continue to hold the image also and so there are three dynamics that are going on in this experience. We see clearly in our spiritual eye, the symbol that has been sent forth 
the open lotus, pink, iridescent in color, and its fullness and its openingness in the very core and middle is this eternal flame. We then see the same image, a holographic image within the center of our heads. And it takes space there between the hypothalamus, the pineal and the pituitary glands as the endocrine system is activated. And then we also see from there, it spins off again. And these holographic pictures and energy and codes of this is moving throughout our entire physical system. All levels of ourselves in the physical biology is aware and connects with this experience. From the atomic level to the subatomic level and all levels of ourselves in this physical, mental and emotional experience. we understand this is the spark of the divine of the ain't soft limitless light transcended to all things igniting that part of us to unfold clearly and in harmony and in balance. This sacred symbol moves through the thoughts of our thought body, of our mental body. And this sacred flame and the unfoldment of our consciousness grabs on to the higher thought forms, the original thought form of the original creation. And so our thought forms now move and pierce through all limitations of imbalance, of duality, of misunderstandings and miscreations and moves into the higher resonant levels of oneness, of balance, of harmony. And we stay here these few moments into the higher mental mind, the higher mind of oneness. And we take residence here for a while in the re-remembering of it. And it is our intention to move through, even as we walk this physical world, mental and emotional, we anchor and hold the higher thought forms. And in its brilliance, it dismantles any lower thought forms that circulate throughout this world. That it is in this higher thought form that we can anchor, that we can dismantle old 
crusted thought forms of co-creational process that no longer serves the higher vision of this world and its life. So we see clearly the symbol of the open pink lotus and the eternal flame within it. We see it brilliant in our mental body, bringing us up and embracing the higher thought forms of oneness, balance, and peace. And now our intention and attention goes to the emotional body. The emotional body of the humanity upon this earth that can have the greatest of experience of triumph and love and yet at the same time the polar opposite of defeat and fear. And so we take our time and bring forth our very focused intention of seeing and feeling this open lotus pink and seeing the eternal flame within our own emotional body. That we draw on the highest aspects of this emotional body that is transcendent to turmoil and imbalances and miscreations, but assist and help those imbalances and distortions by holding the higher emotional body, holding the divine Maitreya, the cosmic Christ, the ain't soft or limitless light, eternal father, eternal mother, It is its foundation. It is its anchor. And with that is the rising of the emotional body into the higher emotional planes, transcendent of the astral body. And thereby, safe from manipulation, safe from distortion, safe from imbalance. And so we hold and see clearly the opened pink lotus with the eternal flame in the middle imprinted upon our emotional body.
And we understand with each and every holy sacred in-breath and out-breath that this divine symbol, the codes, the colors, the geometries and the tones are embraced and anchored in every aspect of our being. We intend to hold this symbol, all that it represents in our physical, mental, and emotional bodies as we transverse this world. We stay here these few more moments as this process continues to anchor and integrate into our physical, mental, and emotional bodies as it is doing right now. And now, before we conclude, we see now spiritually in our spiritual eye as we vibrate this open lotus with the eternal flame, symbolizing the higher thought forms, the higher emotional body of love unconditionally, and the Admin Kodman of the divine and perfect human. We see this symbol surrounding our own earth mother and all of her life. We step into our positions as co-creators in alignment with eternal father, eternal mother, and a limitless light. We bring forth the cosmic Christ and the divine Maitreya. We anchor this into the world and all of her life through this symbol with the pink lotus and the eternal flame within it. We see our planet and all of her life immersed in the energy of this divine sacred symbol, receiving all of its codes, wisdom, healing, balance, and peace.
And now the time of the return comes into our minds. And as such, the energies automatically begin to step down. We look once more of this divine sacred symbol with the intention that it continues to integrate and process into our reality bite in this material world, ever mindful of our connection to this eternal flame of unfolding consciousness that's within us. We acknowledge all the divine radiant ones that have held this sacred platform for us. We bring forth in our intention the memory of why we are here upon this sacred world, this sacred planet, and for all of her life that she gives selflessly. We re-remember our role and why we are here and come into perfect alignment with our mission and our purpose. The great gratitude. We begin now to draw in our electromagnetic field even as we see the symbol begin to fade and go back to its source. We acknowledge this experience in our physical, mental, and emotional bodies. Grateful for this activation and upgrade. To use this wisdom, this understanding, and this power. Only seated in unconditional love and higher service. And on the count of three, we will intend to be back, awake, alert, and grounded. One, two, take a deep breath in, and three, we are back, awake, alert, and we are grounded. 